Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Person of Interest. This week, we will follow the life of San Francisco legend, Herb Cain. Herb Cain was a San Francisco humorist, columnist, and journalist who wrote using his loyal royal typewriter. Six days a week, his column in the San Francisco Chronicle offered information of local goings-on, insider gossip, social and political happenings, painful puns, and offbeat anecdotes. Cain truly was the conscience of his city. Cain was born on April 3, 1916, in Sacramento, California, to Terence Lucian and Augusta Kane, who were local full hall operators. He began writing in high school with a column titled Corridor Gossip. Later, he began reporting sports for the Sacramento Union newspaper. In 1936, Kane began writing a radio programming column for the San Francisco Chronicle. When that column ended, he proposed a daily column based on the city itself. With few exceptions, his column appeared every day except Saturday until 1990. The column then dropped to five days a week, but his more than 16,000 columns pounded out on his loyal royal was by far the longest running newspaper column in the country. Kane's column had a significant influence on pop culture of the time. He actually coined the term beatnik in 1958 and made popular the term hippie during the Summer of Love in 1967. Unusual characters of the city were often covered in Kane's column, including Edsel Ford Fung. Kane helped promote Fung's reputation as the world's rudest waiter. And of course, who could forget Strange De Jim, an anonymous contributor whose tidbits about the city often appeared. Ever the prolific writer, Kane also wrote a number of books, including Baghdad by the Bay, his nickname for San Francisco that stuck for decades. He also wrote Don't Call It Frisco, One Man San Francisco, and he wrote the text for the coffee table photo book, San Francisco, City by the Bay. In April 1996, Kane was awarded a special Pulitzer Prize for his extraordinary contribution as a voice and conscience of the city. June 14, 1996 was celebrated in San Francisco as Herb Kane Day. After a parade and motorcade that ended at the ferry building, Kane was honored by a collection of the city's celebrities, politicians, and other notable people, including news legend Walter Cronkite. The celebration included renaming the promenade on the Embarcadero as Herb Kane Way. Sadly, Herb Kane passed away on February 1st, 1997, from lung cancer. His New York Times obituary compared him to Walter Winchell, but without the malice. It is safe to say, no city loved a man more than San Francisco loved Herb Kane, and no man loved a city more than Herb Kane loved San Francisco.
Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more My Bay Adventures.